Nice place. It is. Been here before then, have you? It's my regular spot. Oh, right, you're a local. Nice. Don't I know you? Do you? Yeah. You're that Mr. Fox, that scientific chap from Wayne Enterprises, isn't you? That is me. Alfred Pennyworth. Young Master Bruce Wayne's guardian. Ah, yes. He swears blind. Swears on his mother's grave he'd never do such a thing. But of course he did. Couldn't help himself if he let me down. So I tucked him up. Like a kipper. What is a kipper? It's a type of smoked fish. Very nice with eggs and brown toast for breakfast. There lies the problem, Lucius. You see, I need to confide in you. And I need to know that you're trustworthy. Perhaps I should decline your confidence. I don't like the sound of these kippers. Yeah, well, I'm just a bit late for that, unfortunately. I mean, it's you, after all, Lucius, that created this mess when you told young Master Bruce that his dear old dead dad was a stoic. Ah. Uh, oh, exactly. I mean, just be crystal clear about this. If it turns out that I can't trust you, I swear on my mother's grave, you, my old sausage, are a dead man. I have only the best intentions for Bruce Wayne. Hey guys, fix the hard drive. Bruce, Alfred. Where's Master Bruce? We were hoping you knew. I was in the process of commandeering a vehicle when two of your idiotic cousins shot me straight in the bloody face with a stun gun. Here I am. And there's your warrant, Captain. Where? He was assaulted on Galavan's property by known associates of Galavan. While trespassing in Galavan's tower, he was lawfully pursued off the property by the rightful occupants. You got nothing there. Clean Galavan. bandages. I'm going to need a car and a couple of guns. You got it. What are you going to do? I've got no choice. No time. I've got to go visit him. I'll come with you. Are two men enough? Wouldn't seem so, but violence is not my métier. No, two men are not enough. I would gladly join you, but I imagine an amateur is no asset. A hindrance, perhaps. That's very true. We need Jim Gordon. He's part A diamond plate, a glowing grate, a place you never leave. Where am I? What? Home. Who's home? Your home? Gordon's at your home. No, yes. Who are you? You're thinking it's underground. It has to be. There must be stairs, an elevator, ventilation shafts. I just don't know how to find them. I may have a solution. The technology Strange is using to create these monsters must be very advanced. My guess is he's using plutonium isotopes to mutate cell structure. If so, there'll be trace radiation. At Wayne Enterprises, I developed a miniature Geiger counter for battlefield use. Get me into Arkham and I'll find the entrance to that lab. Come on. Alfred, you said yourself that it's my fault what happened to Selena Kyle. That means it's my responsibility to make it right. And I may not be the man you choose a second in a street fight, but anything I can do to protect Bruce, I will. Still, it's half a plan, isn't it? Ah, oh, Mr. Fox. I let myself in. I think I might have something. When I was compiling the personnel files on scientists, I also ran a cross-reference search on Pinewood Farms and the Philosopher and found this. It's from a company newsletter taken 12 years ago. The photo lists team nicknames. Look at the man next to your father. Hugo Strange at your service. Lucius Fox. Mr. Fox. 
And of course, you are. Bruce Wayne. Speak spent. So this is a bit of an inspection. No, nothing so formal. We were just hoping for a look around. We don't normally give tours. Even to someone who provides a quarter of your operating budget? Of course we can make exceptions. I'd be happy. Bruce is going strange to his office while I get the tour. I see anything? I'll mark it with this. You're clear. What is that? Oh, this measures air quality. Microparticles. Mr. Wayne is concerned that the patients are in a healthy environment. Asthma and whatnot. You're doing good so far. I'm so relieved. This way. Mr. Fox? Yep. Come in. There's nothing funny about my name. He was the one that framed Jim Gordon. You always were a smart cookie, Foxy. You know why Strange gave me this job? It's because he knows that I would kill you both and not bat an eye. So, keeping that in mind. Five minutes on the clock. Starting now. <laughs> Communist witches? No, there's some truth behind this question, some big secret. I've worked for Wayne Enterprises for 10 years. There is no big secret. The board of directors runs Wayne Enterprises. 15 seconds. That can't be the answer, Lucius. 10 seconds. Give us more time. Five seconds. The board of directors. <sighs> Incorrect. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> what now? You're asking me? How about we just uh, pull all this stuff off? What happens? There's no cutoff program. Maybe, maybe there's no tamper proofing program. Yeah. yeah. No. Water. Need water. 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 I need water.